Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nell Roy, and welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips, and welcome to 2024. That's right, I'm back. Yeah, man, I'm feeling good, man. So check this out. Let me get right to it. So there's a small YouTuber, man, by the name of MDLR Fishing. You may have heard of him, not really that important. But he told me, Fishing Trips, man, the last time your Hobie touched water, Moses parted the Red Sea. I was offended. So here I am, out on the water to kill it, man. So what's my goal today? I want some winter trout. Um, need some flounder because I haven't caught flounder since flounder season started back. And I want a bull red. I don't think that's too much to ask. Winter trout, flounder, and bull red. Um, I'm feeling confident, man. This is my my third season on YouTube, and this is gonna be the best year ever. And that's gonna be my famous last words. And I'm probably gonna die today just because I said that. As long as this video gets a million views, I'm happy with it. So yeah, winter trout, flounder, bull red. I think I can do it. Enjoy the episode, y'all. Let go. It's more shallow than it normally is. So, excuse me as I um. I'm in like 12 inches of water. What's crazy is I've been seeing a lot of posts. What the hell with this? I've been seeing a lot of posts on Facebook about how clear the water clarity has been around the Galveston and surrounding area. And sure enough, you can definitely see the bottom. So I don't know if I ever fished the marsh, but the water's so damn clear. So I don't know if that's gonna be a good thing for fishing or a bad thing. I do know that um, it's been about four weeks since I last been in this kayak and I've been paddling for about 10 minutes and I already got a cramp. I'm probably gonna be going around this marsh. Oh my God, it got deep all of a sudden. Probably like 10 miles today, who knows? My legs are gonna kill me. I've been really trying to search about getting a, a trolling motor. Um, you know, there's the Bixby, something called Texas kayak paddle or something. Um, Hobie got a trolling motor. I can't remember the name, but a torpedo. The damn thing almost cost as much as the damn kayak. So yeah, man, drop some comments below of some trolling motors. Do you like Bisbee, Texas kayak, water snake? Give me some ideas. Um, yeah, yeah, because I'm getting too old to be paddling around 10 miles a day. The weather's about 50 degrees, okay? I refuse to complain about the cold. I'm not gonna do it. After the summer we had in 2023, where it was 100 degrees for like 90 days straight, mm -mm. this feel amazing. All right, so let me lower my voice because I'm here at the trout spot. Let's get to it. Let go. <clears throat> there we go. Relax, baby. Oh man, it is super low. This is not good. Normally this orse is submerged. So maybe it's gonna push all the fish in this little alley. Okay, that's just a bird. I got excited. Thought that was a blow up. Come on, founder. Try a little bit to the left. I never really hooked up on anything on this section right here. It's kind of like once you start marsh fishing, you know all the turns and the sections that have oysters and where it's shallow, where it's deep. Oh, and I lied. First fish of the year. Okay. You know, I don't think I checked my, my knot. Got lazy. Yep. Got lazy. It's all good though. I'm gonna get another one. All right, I know I said earlier, I was not gonna complain about the cold. Yeah, I lied. I lied. Sun never came out. Went from like 55 to 50. 
super cold now. I'm glad I brought my jacket because I'm like, now nah, I don't need no damn jacket. Yeah, I do. I got my beanie on. Looking like I'm about to play prison football out here, but I feel better now. Um, I'm turning around, head back towards the entrance. We might try a different march system. See if I catch something on the way back. Lego. I mean, he think he all fancy now because he got a new ride. What's up, man? Look at that. They see me rolling, they hating, patrolling, trying to get me riding dirty. I'm slumming it in that hobie. <laughs> get a little Bentley all of a sudden, you too good, huh? I got my Rolls Royce. All right, yeah, Rolls. Well. need you to come up with a hood ornament. <laughs> there you go. So I haven't, I have not tried the electronic assist yet. No? This is this manual? Right now, it's man, man, I am tired, I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're ready, brother. Ready? You got a defibrillator? <laughs> <laughs> just take this, make sure you drag my body back to shore. Alright, All right, you want the same thing? Hold on, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. <laughs> I don't know if you want to say anything, like, nah. you want to do the test? Okay. Yeah, I'm good, unless. Hold on. I mean, whoa. whoa. This thing is fast. I can, hold on, hold on. I hope you're prepared. Okay, okay. All right, y'all, let's do a little test of the Speed Hobie versus the Old Town EPDL Plus. All right, ready, Mark? All right, go. All right, y'all. So, he's hitting speed number five on the kayak. I'm currently pedaling as hard as I can. I'm at four miles an hour. We're going against the current. I'm at 4.15 miles per hour. I'm pedaling about two to three rep <laughs> I got you two to three revolutions per one march resolution with that kayak it has a pedal assist and an electric motor he's already about 15 to 20 yards ahead of me I'm at four miles an hour and he's not even breaking a damn sweat Bro, that is crazy. All right, Marcus, all yours, man. You got it. All right. Oh my God. All right, all right. I get it. I see them. I probably can't see them, but there's a school of little bitty birds diving. Mark is um, probably like 50 yards ahead of me. Got that fancy kayak with the electric pedal drive. But my Hobie, you know what I'm saying? Even though we slow, slower, I gained a lot of ground on him because my Hobie is great for shallow water. The marsh is super shallow today. Like I say, in certain spots it's only about a foot. So, this is great for shallow water. With that Old Town PDL, one of the cons, every time he gets shallow, he has to raise his pedal drive up and just push pull. With the Hobie, I could kind of like flutter with, with my hands, but my pedal feet put it's easy with the hand. Yeah, he's push pulling. Standing up and push pulling. Alright, here we go. Drop a rudder down. I think we passed the deep part. There we go. Alright, we're good now. Alright, y'all, so let's see what's going on in the back lake. Thing about the back lake is you make this huge trip, long trip to get back. And I'll say only about 20% of the time you'll come across redfish. It's a gamble. But if it pays off, it's totally worth it. Let's go. All right, so we're about to come across this corner over here. Only problem is when we come across the corner, there's no protection from the marsh, which means that wind is about to hit us like a freight train. <sighs> oh, man. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. 
here we go. About to get crazy. Y'all, this is crazy. I can't get past this opening. Wow. I'm not sure where Mark is going. Cause I'm not seeing anything back here. Holy crap. I don't need a little bit the waves. The wind right now is probably gusting at 25. Keep going right now. I really feel like I should head back to the bayou, but I mean, if you come this far in a journey, it doesn't make any sense at this point to turn around and give up, you know? If I'm a fail, then I'm a fail still crossing the finish line. But if you cross the finish line, even though if you're last place, did you really fail? No. You just gotta try. You just gotta try. Alright, here's a little open bay area. Wait, hit something on drop? Oh, we on. Something got hit, hit on drop. Okay, it's fighting super weird. Keep the pressure on it right now. What is that? What is that? This better not be no damn. It's swimming right towards me. What is this? It's fighting weird. It's gotta be a damn gaff top or hard head. Oh, I think it's a little red. Come here, come here, buddy. First fish, 2020. First fish, 2024, baby. First fish of 2024, we did it. All right. Oh, man. Bro, that bite was so light. Barely even felt it. Look at that. Yes. Here we go, y'all. First fish of 2024. Red, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. <laughs> Thanks, buddy, man. It hit it on a drop. Like, as soon as I was reeling in, this pretty boy just came with it. <sighs> and he's super chill. Like, he's not even moving. Look at that tail. See that? It's like he's not even awake. He barely even fought. All right, y'all. So this is a very special fish. First one of 2024. Many more to come. Yes. Yes.